<clears throat> All right, good afternoon, good nerve Shabbos, everybody. I was quite upset today. You know, I've, I've spoken before about my critique of Dennis Prager. I know um, my good friend, Rabbi Meza, is a big fan of, of Dennis Prager. I'm a big fan of Prager University. Um, but time and time again, something that Dennis Prager says rubs me the wrong way. Um, I respect his right I, to have a different opinion than me. I don't really care. I just find it um, interesting. And, and with that being said, those types of things are what opens our minds to be able to learn, learn what we really believe. When we get questioned, when we have that gadfly bring us out of our comfort zone, that's how we can really understand what we really believe ourselves. And so, you know, he said, as an Orthodox Jew who's non-denominational, and I certainly in my life and my beliefs consider myself Orthodox, um, and I try my best to be Orthoprax, although it doesn't always work, but we can try. Um... But in my ministry, I do consider myself to be somewhat non-denominational or religiously non-conforming, if you want to use those terms, in the way I interact with other people, because I understand not everybody agrees with me. And so what can I do to minister to those people being who I am and not changing myself, but being a, a good servant, a, a servant to the community, on one hand. Is there anybody at this at this place? I have to go to Mikvah here. And on the other hand, let's see what's just said. That's closed, right? There's no cars there. There's no Yeah, no Mikvah there. I'm gonna have to travel a little bit more, which is good. I get to spend more time with you all. Um So when, when we leave our comfort zone, we can learn more about ourselves and so forth um, and see what really matters to us, you know. And I think that's something that Dennis Prager would certainly appreciate. Um, someone asked him about the restoration of sacrifice, animal sacrifice, in the Jewish community. Um, it seemed like the caller was asking him, does he believe it will ever come back? But the, uh, but uh, Mr. Prager, or Dr. Prager, I'm not sure, I'll call him, I'll give him a doctorate, uh, you know, he deserves one, even if I disagree with him, because he, he makes good arguments for whatever, uh, so now, so now I'm officially bestowing on, 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 on Dennis Prager a doctorate. I actually had a, on the books in Virginia, the legal right to uh, give degrees in, in, in religious sense, so we'll have to just ask him what, uh, which one he wants. Uh, I can't give a PhD, but I could give a Doctor of Divinity or a Doctorate in Religion or a Doctorate in the Bible. He wrote a book on the Bible. He certainly deserves something for that. Uh, I haven't, on, uh, he wrote a commentary in Exodus. I haven't, I haven't read it yet, but a lot of people were asking him about it and um, but then they got to Leviticus to the animal sacrifice although there's sacrifices in Exodus as well um, the Passover sacrifice of course uh, we'll read next week in Parsha's bow and so Professor Prager said uh, instead of asking whether he thinks sacrifice will come back yes or no he was more discussing as to whether or not sacrifice was something that he was looking forward to seeing the restoration of. I know I confused some people when I spoke of the sacrificial cult, which is just simply a term in English for sacrifices. It doesn't mean um, what, what we call in, in the modern parlance a cult. It just means 
that uh, the return of the, the 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 system of the sacrifices was classically referred to as the sacrificial cult, um, meaning the, the culture of the sacrifices essentially. You know. The um, you know the, the religious devotion of the sacrifices. Well, I was building that big house in the lake there. I don't go down this way very often. So. Um, and so, uh, so don't get thrown off by that word cult. And look at uh, Rabbi Hertz. You know, that's uh, look at his um, his commentaries. They're quite interesting. They're a little different. Also, out of my more Haredi comfort zone, but I recognize the value of certain things that he has to share. And so, too, uh, Prager, he was talking about the sacrifices and how he feels, he said, from a moral standpoint, he has no problem with the sacrifices because most of the sacrifices were eaten. And so, if you're comfortable with eating food, with eating meat, if you're not a, a vegetarian, and he got you know, he spoke a whole issue about, you know, the immorality of uh, groups like, uh, what's it called, PETA, and how they, um, you know, anthropomorphize our animal, uh, animals in, in a way that robs us of uh, a certain sense of, of uh, is this lady moving or what's going on? Because I don't want to hold up traffic here, but um, I do need to get the, the mail. Can I park it in front of this? Like, that's the thing. People park too far away, and I, I'm not going to park in the judge's spot. She could have moved up. All right, well, I'm gonna go get the mail and come right back. Well, that lady moved before I was able to get out of the car, so I might as well drive a little bit more. Um, put my seatbelt on, though. No. Uh, so, Dennis Prager said, from a moral standpoint, he has no issue with the restoration of sacrifices, but from a religious standpoint, he has an issue with it. Now, I don't have a problem with that per se. My problem with Dennis Prager about that is that he is a committed Zionist. And that is problematic to me from a religious standpoint, vis-a-vis -a, -vis a Zionist who does not seek the restoration of the sacrifices. Um, meaning, and, and I think I'll have to make a separate video just to discuss that, because this is already eight minutes. So, uh, and I got told the videos are, are not too, are, are too long. So, uh, come back and, and let's, maybe on the way to the mikvah, we'll talk about this, why I feel that it's morally an issue for a Zionist who has some religious aspect to his Zionism to not have that gefil for the sacrifices. All right. God bless. Please like, share, and subscribe. And take care.